Folks, I'm on my way back to the hospital. I have to have a follow-up visit with the surgeon. I just got to drive four hours for him to look at me. <laughs> Actually, that's not the case. I've got to have a CAT scan. I got to make sure everything's still in place and blah, 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 everything's good. So, I'm on my way back to Birmingham and I'm taking y'all with me again. Check out that little house. So if I see anything weird or anything happens along the way, I'll uh, I'll carry it. I'll pull the camera out and let you know. Anyhow, we're on a road trip again. All right. There's Redneck Mama back there. She's eating a steak, steak biscuit from Hardee's. Yep. I just got done with a chicken biscuit, and uh, we're on the road. All right, folks. Just had my checkup with my doctor. The CAT scans look good, everything looks fine. They want another CAT scan in three years, just to take another look at it, so I'm doing well. And he said I can drive, as long as I'm not taking the prescribed pain medicine, there's no reason I can't drive. So I could have been driving all this time. Anyhow, that's that. We're going back to the hotel and make a drink. I'll see you there. Okay, folks, I made it to the hotel finally. Okay, my, my appointment with the doctor was for 2.45. I'm just now getting into my hotel room at 6.30 p.m. Freaking crazy, unbelievable. Anyhow, we're in the same place. We got one of these Candlewood uh, sweets. Is that what you call it? Candlewood sweets. And uh, refrigerator, little kitchen area. I'm hooked to the internet right there. But I'm gonna just show you around. It's the same thing as that other room was. I don't know why in the hell my sister put my pillow in here. I'm, I'm not, probably not gonna sleep in here. I'm probably gonna sleep in here. Anyhow, anyhow, folks, I gotta pee. I'm gonna keep this real short because I gotta pee. <laughs> we just, I mean, we've, we've been on the road all day or sitting at the hospital waiting on the doctor. Um, he said he don't need to see me again in three till three more years. So what I can do, I can have a CAT scan where I live and send it to him. So I ain't even got to come back up here to do that. So, but anyway, right there is a blue cup ready to go. Right there is the bathroom. I'm going to go to do. I'm going to pee and then I'm. Filling right back up on bliss on, on that blue cup. So I'm keeping this video short right now. I'll be back later. Bye. Oh folks, I wanted I forgot to tell you something. I talked to the doctor about I told him I felt like I had a broken rib because I keep feeling <coughs> what feels like ribs rubbing together in this one spot. And uh, he said, No, I, he probably, I don't have, have broke ribs. He said what happened was they took my ribs and they cut between them. You know how like when you eat ribs? You cut between two ribs to get one off and then you, well that meat that runs between the two ribs, on, on me that's what they cut. They cut that meat in between my two, two, two of my ribs and they spread that apart, spread my ribs all the way apart to get in there. So that tissue has not healed enough right now for it to grow back and my ribs are sitting there rubbing together. When I cough or sneeze or something or I roll over, my ribs are kind of pushing it it hurts folks it hurts anyhow let me quit running my mouth and get to drinking my drink bye well folks it's morning time we just woke up and we're getting packed up getting ready to get out of here i didn't even have time last night to sit down and enjoy my drink because we had to go to dinner and meet some meet some family members for dinner so i didn't i drank about half my drink and then we left for dinner and then i drank the other half when I got home and went to bed so really wasn't no sit down enjoying a drink last night but it will be tonight you can guarantee that I'm getting the heck up out of this ghetto ass town <laughs> actually it ain't as bad where I'm at uh, at the Candlewood Suites did I say it right that time mom yeah you did okay she's always on my ass about how I say it suits you don't come with a suit because it ain't that fancy Anyway, we'll be on the road here after a while, and if anything stupid happens, I'll show you. Till then, get your ass some coffee and wake up. Well, folks, as you can tell, we're having breakfast. 
we're gonna hit the drive through and grab a couple taquitos and biscuits and hit the interstate. We're right across from the gas station. We're gonna fill up for gas, hit I-65 South and head back down to Florida. Yeah. And I don't have to come back up here for a long time. Yeehaw! <laughs> It's just a four hour ride, car ride. It's it's hell on me. Just to sit in the position I'm in, but anyway. I'm sure she don't like it either. No. What do you think, Mom? A four hour car ride. She's not comfortable. She's not com she's not comfortable any anywhere. They may not remember that I had my tailbone removed. Well they know now. She had her tailbone removed. She doesn't have a tail anymore. They cut her tail off. Kinda like a Doberman pincher. Yep. Don't get too close, she'll bite you. <laughs> All right, folks, bye. Folks, we got control burn or forest fire or something. It's fire, right? Yep, fire. All the, right it's all on fire. It's coming out here to the road almost. I don't see any people controlling it. That's what I said. There ain't nobody controlling it. And why is there none here and then there's some way over here? They just let, there's a little bit right there by itself. How did it get there? Why ain't the whole damn thing just on fire? Why is it on fire all the way back that way? Or is it it's just... all up in there on fire. There's Look, somebody. there's one. There's one right there. Yeah, he looks like Look, he's setting it. Oh, he's got a little. Fireman. He's got yeah, a little can. Singed. He's got a little can with a fire on the end of it, and he's pouring pouring it in spots that need to be burnt. Oh, he's he's been, the fire starter. He's the fire starter. He's been trained. He knows where where to start it, and where not to. Hmm. He's done. There's some more way up there. Hmm. Dang. Smells. I like that smell. Uh, the smell of pine straw. Like a campfire smell. Like a like copper. It. Must be. Anyway, folks, I thought that was interesting. I'd show y'all that we, uh, you know, no disrespect to the people in California, but we're having a forest fire here too. It's just a controlled forest fire. Maybe they need to have some controlled forest fires in California so it won't turn up like it turn out like it did. There's another hot spot right there. There's nobody here. It's just man, it could burn all that cotton. It could burn all that cotton up. Boy, I'd be mad if my cotton field got all caught on fire. Wow. Smell like a burnt t-shirt. Yeah. All right, folks, that's all for now. Folks, we got more smoke. Looks like we're going right, we're going to go right into it. Jeez. That's a big old puff of smoke. Maybe it's uh, Snoop Dogg. Folks, I know you can't see nothing. I'm going to have to tweak the video with the lighting. But, um, man, what a exhausting trip that was driving up to Birmingham one day and then sitting there waiting to see the doctor the next day. And No, 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 actually. See, I'm so tired, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Driving up to Birmingham and seeing the doctor that same day and then driving back home the next day this is what you do you go to she, as soon as you get home you go to sleep so tired you just go to sleep and I have a fever because of the contrast dye that they injected into my uh, veins to uh, you know do the CAT scan so uh, I feel like hell I'll be getting better tomorrow just you know this is one of the things you got to deal with well, after a good sleep, had some well-needed rest, my fever's gone, folks. It's my temperature's back to normal. And that's good. Anyhow, I'm gonna upload this video for y'all. It looks dark, doesn't it? For some reason, this thing looks really dark. Yeah, whatever.